All right, guys, I'm back here with another YouTube video. And um, first thing I want to say is real quick that I know that most of my videos have not been edited recently. That's because I actually lost the thumb drives and SD cards that I was using for that. So um, none of them are going to have the intro or outro, the proper one I created. I'll probably recreate the intro at least anyway. So um, there's going to be a lot of changes coming because of lost of files. But anyway, I'm out here real quick. I'm just going to feed the dogs some eggs. I may be thinking, Roger, why are you feeding them eggs from Walmart? Not a sponsor. When you have chickens, well, the chickens haven't started laying yet. They're, they're pretty fresh. I actually recorded getting these chickens. So, um, anyway, let's get into the video. Also, I'm out here hoping, just so you'll know, that no bugs get into my cold water. Because I don't care how cold of a day it is, this is going to come in handy. <sighs> now that... It's something that I love about summer. You come in from day of work. Now then when you're outside, it's annoying when it's hot. When you come back inside, there's a fan blowing. And you've got a cold cup of water. That's real nice. Now then, two things with Princess right now. Number one, I just came home from school. Hey, look, you can see my shadow. Hello. Anyway, I just came home from school, so she's kind of hyped up because of that. And she knows I've got eggs. So, let's find her mother. The chickens are out right now. Doing good. Go chickens, go. Going up and run. Yeah, the, the chicken pen is broken. I know. Uh, but we'll be actually, hopefully be fixing that soon. So, um, and of course, if I say soon, I might have it. We might have all this stuff done by the next time. By the time this video is actually uploaded. Because the thing is, I'm recording a lot of videos in advance. A lot right now. So this video is probably going to be a little while to upload it. So anyway, let's get the dogs eggs right now. The goat is actually wanting it, but she don't understand that it's eggs. But let's get them a good, here you go, take your egg, take your egg. And yes, I feed them to the whole raw, and they just go take it and do whatever they want with it. No, 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 you have not eaten your other egg. Here's your other egg. I'll take that one out. Poor Bella. And then all that, we'll just sit there. I gave Princess Bear the first, and I gave Bella her other one. Um, so, you see she's already cracked it and eating it. Good thing about these is that the, good thing about these is that the goats don't want them because they're just eggs. So, the goat has a desire to eat like the dog food. But, also I want to point out something out here. It's pretty cool, pretty crazy, whatever you want to think. The grass is beginning to die. Now then, I kind of out there in our front yard and stuff that's kind of cool but out here in the pasture it's not because that means you're going to have to start buying more hay and they're going to start eating more hay and i just hope that they don't eat all of the grass even after it's dead because if they do that then that means that next year it's going to take a while for it to grow which we had a problem with that this year so um anyway that's just a little catch up so um let's get up here i think I'm gonna have to screw in some pickets for the pig pen because right now the pickets are just um, nailed in. And so here's my sister's donkey. She's on Corbin Mini Farm. Link in the description as I have been doing recently. She's just peacefully relaxing in the shade as she gently stood here waiting for me to pet her. So remember, Corbin Mini Farm, see more pictures of these animals and videos, especially her because she's not my animal. And so I'm not gonna. So I'm not gonna put her all on the videos because um she's not my owl so I don't really feel the responsibility to do that and I feel like it's not really I guess you could say right but anyway there's the pig her pen's still doing great the water's flooded up here a little but I'll probably actually dig it out more that way because all the grass which was in here she completely ruined so I'll probably dig it out more that way to make it wider and then Make a little bit of a barricade with the dirt. That way it don't flood up here where everything's dry. Because if it does that, then we're going to have a mess, which we had before, where actually this whole pen was just complete ruins. But this is the picket part for fence. As y'all see up there at the front of the fence where there's a mud hole, it's wired. But here, it was wired, but she, they, she actually had a sister who passed away a little while ago. But this is where they... um. I feel like it's already screwed in because it's not loose no more like it was. Oh, no, here it goes. Oh, whoops. Okay, anyway. So, over here it's picket, and 
I'm sorry, I had to switch back and forth like that. As I said, I'm going to edit it out, so very bad quality. But the pickets are just in by nails, so they come off too easily. So what I want to do, what I want to do is, like, there's a nail and there's a nail. So I'll probably put a screw in the center right there to hold it in. Maybe two screws up and down. And the same on the bottom. And if I do that, that's going to hold it in so much better and screws really don't come out too easily and those pieces of wood won't get rotted because they're not exposed to water so truly that should hold it perfect now here's the chickens don't ask me why they look so weird right now those are acting so creepy um but they're healthy they've got plenty of food they've got plenty of water i know that for sure so if any of them are acting weird then that's just them being weird chickens our Every chicken we've always had, they always lay down creepily and start, like, scratching the dirt. So, I guess that's just a chicken thing. So, the chickens are out. They're relaxing. They're chilling. Um, whoa. You gonna attack me again? Are you gonna attack me again? So, I'll run aside real quick. Grab the screwdriver. I screw on all those pallets. I might even widen that mud area. And then, um, that'll probably be it for today's video. So, anyway, I'll be right back. I'll hopefully run, like, like wind. Okay guys, I'm back, and uh, now like y'all would know, we just stopped recording the video, but I was just ran all the way to our house and back within like three minutes. So that's actually pretty, I think it's cool because I'm going to be able to do that. So I've got a screwdriver here, and I'm just going to set that right there while I try to find the bit for it. It's in this somewhere. So if I can just get the bit out. Put the bit on and start putting some screens in here. And bring y'all along for it. Is that the whole point of YouTube? Bring people along on my adventures. Thank you for joining me on my adventures. That's Elijah Corbin. That's all for today. Thank you. Goodbye. I'm kidding. I was pretending to be these typical, like, three old YouTubers, so I don't think she's on YouTube anyway. Um, so, I mean, anyway, as I literally tell YouTube and other people, these videos are not made for kids. If you're a kid and you're watching me, then okay, cool, I guess. But um, the fact is, is that none of my videos are really made for kids. I don't think kids like seeing um, me screw in wood or feed animals or, I don't know, whatever happens out here. I'm saying that I don't think that um, kids really care about that, which is why I have a here, right? My opinion to tell YouTube this video is not made for kids. So anyway, so in case you're wondering, if you saw my video, I was not expecting this to happen or whatever it's called where the goat was actually stuck in the pig pen. I finally got the door fixed. So now it's a piece of wood down here that she absolutely cannot bust through. I screwed it up with actually the screwdriver and these screws. And up to now, wire on top, wood on bottom, holds really good. Um, we actually have wire on the bottom too, but wire was just too easy for the pig to push off. So I so said we put wire on the bottom, but she's not tall enough to reach the wire. She's a short little thing. Look at that hay which piled up. So anyway, I'm just coming here. Latch the gate behind me. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Latch the gate behind me. There we go, got it latched. Now we gotta screw in some pickets. Let's get into this. Let's get into this. Okay, let's go try to... Clear out my sails and anyway, let's move on. That's not gonna work. Let's try that. There we go. That'll do. We're gonna go to the tops and then I'll do the bottoms. That'll be all for you. This might take a little while because I cannot speed it up because I don't have editing. I do not have a way to edit anything right now. And um, it's just how it's gonna have to be. So, first one, the pressure. Okay, I'm glad I'm on the wrong way. There we go. What? And I just all screens. There we go. Now that zip puncture through the wood a little on their side. But if all of them do that, but if all of them do that, then I'll just go through and hammer the spike down that way. It won't hurt the animals. That's what I had to do on the gate too, because it's too thin. Man, I'm bad at this. I'm just trying to center it. Just keep it a good center. There we go. That's good. Well, 
the last one actually went in best of all, so that's pretty nice. Um, I'll probably just cut off the video here, and I'll come back right back in like a few seconds, show y'all once I got it all done. But this could be a long process, and I don't think I just want to watch me screw in wood. So anyway, sorry this bit came undone. I'm catch all right back in a few seconds. Okay, I, I've got most of them done. Just got a few more, but there's no point of waiting to do all of them to pick up back at the camera. So screw there, screw there. I would do it here and I would do it side to side, but there's already nails there. And this is just to have extra security. So those single screws should do good. One top, one bottom. So that's all for today's video. Hope y'all enjoyed it and if y'all didn't, I'm sorry. Maybe next video will be good. So don't unsubscribe or anything because um, this channel's a variety channel, it's a volume channel, so just because this one's not good, don't mean that all of them won't be good. But if you're positive that you just don't like me as a person, who's sure, go ahead and subscribe. Whatever pleases you, bro. I'm not making you stay here. So anyway, that's for today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell that way you know whenever I upload. And I'll see y'all next time.